guys, I'm back um, in my natural hair, my bio hair, and I am here because I am so happy that my eye doctor gave me permission to wear eye makeup, so I pulled out my newest neutral shadow palette. Um, I don't do a lot of makeup reviews simply because um, I suck at applying makeup on camera and I am no makeup artist. All I am is just an average pro-aging 65 year old lady who happens to like wearing makeup and wear makeup I do. So I think it's unfair for me to sit there and give a tutorial when I have absolutely no expertise at all other than wearing makeup. But my love of neutral shadows knows no boundaries. I mean, if you went upstairs to the little room where I put my makeup on, um, it's one of our guest rooms, and you opened up my makeup drawer and my makeup basket filled with eyeshadows, your reaction would be, what's wrong with this woman? She's got nothing but neutrals. But you know what? That's the way I roll. I have a couple of palettes that do have color, but I wear what I am comfortable in. I don't wear um, trendy colors. Um, I really do shy away from that. And plus the fact that my eyes are sensitive and easily irritated. Um, a lot of colors, like bright colors, have a lot of pigmentation, which kind of bothers my eyes. So I saw this palette. It's the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I saw this on Beautylish. And I, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy made a palette of neutrals. Like, I couldn't believe it. So I believe it was either $62 or $65. Um, the price point. I have no problem with because I know that there are a lot of brands um, like Pat McGrath for one that have like palettes that are over a hundred dollars. The same with um, Huda Beauty. Um, there's a lot that are up there in price. I think for the price point on this for the amount of shadows was pretty darn fair. Okay, it's not inexpensive, but it's not so outlandish. This palette is the one palette that I can tell you I will be using all year. And all of the like all of the colors are great. Now, another thing that I want to talk about before I open up this box and open up the palette to show you is the name. I'm sorry, I have no problem with the name Orgy for this palette. I know I've seen reviews where people are like, oh, that's a horrible name. What do you tell your children? You know what? Your children don't know, like your kids don't need to know the meaning of Orgy. You don't have to explain it to them. If your child says, what's that word? All you need to say is a word you don't need to know until you're 18 or 19 or 21. That's it. This is your makeup, not your child's, okay? Um, I'm that parent that didn't hide a lot of stuff from my kids, and my kids turned out to be great. So, so much for the name of this. But I also think it's cleverly humorous because that's, I don't know, that's my sense of humor. So if you are easily offended by certain words, and by the way, this is not a four letter curse word. Um, the F word is worse. Um, if you are offended by words or if you are offended by photographs, because there are bodies on this that, um, that are nude, but their origin of the world is kind of 
hidden as are the lady parts on top. So it's really not offensive. As a matter of fact, it's given me incentive to lose my pandemic weight. So that's it about the name of this palette. Hold on, I'm gonna take it out of the box. Okay, so here we have the palette itself. Um, it's not plastic, it's paper or cardboard, if you will. So you can say that it's more um, eco-friendly than plastic. We have a nice mirror that many of you who have good eyes could use with no problem. But for those of us who have very bad eyesight, we need a different mirror, a magnifying mirror. Here are the colors. I will not be swatching. I will not be reading the names of these shadows because they are probably offensive to some, but very humorous to others. So here we go. It is a basic, basic palette of a ton of neutrals. And with this palette, all you need, like all you need is this. I'm not gonna say that you can create a ton of different looks because I'm not big on like looks. I'm just big on kind of what hits hits me at the moment. I will say that this dark color glory hole, I have been using it at the ends of my eyes to kind of give some depth because I do have hooded eyes. And I have been using blowout quite often just for an overall eye wash. All of these, like body chills is great for the crease. I mean, there's nothing, there are no shades that I don't like. And these are very, very cool tone friendly. So if you have um, cool tone skin like me, which is very fair, but definitely cool tone, this is a great option. I find with a lot of neutrals that they are, um, many of them are warm toned and they tend to look a little bit orange on me. The same with some um, warmer toned mauves. I need a cool tone mauve because if it's too pinky or if it's too, um, if it's got too much yellow in it, I look like I've been crying. So that's basically it. I'm just here to give you a short review on how I feel about this Orgy palette. I think it's fine. I know that Jeffree Star has gone through a lot of um, controversy, but I don't follow that drama. I follow how the makeup looks on me. And that's basically it. So if you are an older woman, if you have a sense of humor, if you are not offended by the title or the name of a palette, and if you are into neutrals, I would say this is definitely a great palette to have on hand. I think it's great for those of us who are not makeup artists, who are not going to do a look every day, um, who just want the basics out of making our hooded eyes or our old lady eyes just look a little bit better or give them some lift. Um, this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see. It's really weird because I just, I'm really not that great when it comes to makeup tutorials or anything. I just wanted to show you what a real average person looks like in a great eyeshadow palette. So that's it. Have a great day and I will be back with more. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And um, if you like this, subscribe. If you don't like it, you know, you can give me a thumbs down. But if you have any snark, um, Make sure that you subscribe before you add snark. It's like voting. Don't complain about who's in the White House if you didn't go out and vote. So if you don't subscribe, don't tell me how awful my videos are. Make sure you subscribe.
subscribed. Okay. So thank you. And <laughs> I will see you later. Bye now.